Let's talk today about the best goaltending prospect in the Detroit Red Wings system. A guy that was previously acquired at the 2021 NHL entry draft in a surprise transaction where the Red Wings traded up in the first round to get the 15th overall selection from the Dallas Stars, and they selected the first goaltender off the board, Sebastian Kosa, whom we are indeed discussing in today's video. Now, we've actually spoken a few times about Kosa. We made the Why I Want video, the entire scouting report on this guy, talking about how good he is because, hey, spoiler alert, if you don't know who this guy is, the best goaltender the WHL has seen in this age range in a very long time. Six foot six, two twelve pounds. He had a nine four one save percentage and a one five seven goals against, and he went seventeen one and one this year in the dub with four shutouts too. He was an absolute monster on a really good Edmonton Oil Kings squad, and he is pretty much the number one goaltending prospect that the Red Wings needed. We spoke about this so many times in previous videos, but forwards, hey, the Red Wings have really good young forwards that are going to step in soon. Same with the defensive side of things, but for goaltenders. It is finally being patched up with that 15th overall Sebastian Kosa pickup from the 2021 NHL entry draft. Now, today we're not talking about Kosa because of the analytics or the stats or his profile or what he did last year. We're talking about a completely different side of the goaltender himself. And this is one that I came across because I saw a post on Twitter from these guys over here, the Grind Line podcast, talking about Sebastian Kosa in a way that I was kind of intrigued by and in a way that I honestly didn't realize had been the case. Sebastian Kosa is cocky, and I'm absolutely here for it, the post says. In the post, there are a few screenshots of some quotes about Sebastian Kosa and pretty much his on-ice demeanor. And what I did was I reverse-searched for these quotes and I found the original articles they came from. So that's what we're going to be doing here in this video, going over these quotes, talking about Kosa from the man himself, from teammates that he has had, and just going over the confidence, you know, the killer instinct and attitude that this guy has. Now, attitude, a lot of people say, oh, he's got an attitude, you know, that's a really bad thing. I'm not saying attitude is in like, oh, he's got an attitude problem. I'm saying attitude is in, you know, everybody has an attitude. We're just focusing on his specific kind of attitude that he projects because I think his attitude here, it's kind of great, you know? So we're going to go over this article right here. This is on MLive.com, an interview with Sebastian Kosa himself, as well as this article on TSN talking about Kosa from the words of Dylan Genther, ninth overall pick, and Arizona Coyotes draft pick from the same NHL entry draft. Let's go back over onto Michigan Live right here. Read this piece. Sebastian Kosa looks forward to meeting the Red Wings' high expectations, posted on July 26. This is what Chris Draper said, the current director of amateur scouting for the Red Wings, when it comes to Sebastian Kosa. I was fortunate enough to play with one of the greatest competitors in the net in Dominic Hasek. I talked to Kosa about Dom's work ethic and the expectations he had on himself and why he wanted to come to Detroit. His eyes lit up. We had a call with Chris Osgood. Ozzy talked about the early days of his career and told some valuable stories that I think Sebastian really appreciated, and then he also talked about when he came back in his second stint and how he was a different goalie. I think that conversation really registered with Sebastian. I hung up and I called Ozzy right away and thanked him for the call. It was something I felt was valuable not only for me to see how the two goalies were talking and interacting, but the questions that Sebastian Kosa was asking Osgood. Sometimes you could kind of see his eyes lighting up with some of Ozzy's answers. And you know, before we go on, I wanted to expand a little bit more on that idea right here. Firstly, just the engagement, you know, the ability for Kosa to sit down and you talk to this guy and you say, OK, we're having a conversation about Dominic Hasek or OK, we're going to be talking to Chris Osgood right here. Just absolute legends in the crease. We all kind of know this, right? And for Costa to come into a new system, see the guys who have been here before, some of the best guys who have been here before, by the way, and just be super engaged and focused in a conversation about this stuff, you know, it's a really good sign that his head is in the right place. He sees these models of success in Detroit, and he's like, yeah, let's talk about him. 
I want to be the next one of these guys, so I'm going to do everything I can to take in the information that Osgood is telling me, to learn all there is to learn about Dominic Hasek and what made him successful and the expectations that he put on himself. So for Chris Draper to come out here with this information here, just talking about, okay, yeah, we had these discussions here. I think it's really valuable to at the very least acknowledge that these things happen because it kind of establishes where Kosa's mindset is in regards to being an NHL star. More on that, though, as we head further into this interview. It's actually really well laid out, in my opinion. Obviously, there's high expectations in Detroit, and I want to live up to that, Kosa said. I have high expectations for myself. He then says, I love the pressure. I love the stress that comes with it. Obviously, I don't get stressed, but just the pressure of being the last guy back there and being the kind of villain or a hero. The article poses it very well, saying that Kosa has a swagger about him, and he likes to talk a little bit on the ice, too. I'm not afraid to throw around a chirp, and I definitely do stand my own ground. I don't get bullied out there for sure. So combined with the eagerness that Kosa has to learn and the expectations he puts on himself to become a good goaltender, he's got a mouth too. He yaps away. Red Wings GM Steve Eiserman described Kosa as articulate, personable, confident, and definitely not shy. From everyone we talked to from watching him over the last two years, our guys are confident that he has the mental makeup that it takes to be a really good goalie, Eiserman says. And you know, one of the quotes that really does take over this conversation is what Sebastian Kosa says over here about Jesper Wallstead. Now, if you saw the reaction video that I had to Kosa getting drafted by the Red Wings, you can see that I'm saying the entire time, wow, okay, I'm really surprised that Kosa went first. I knew there was a slight chance, but I didn't really believe it could happen, but it did. This is what Sebastian Kosa says about the other goaltender from Sweden that we'd literally been hyping up since the guy was 14 years old. He's a solid goalie from Europe, and I knew he was the other top goalie in the draft. Being picked first is more motivation. I can't let him catch up to me. No competition. I never played against him or talked to him. He's with the same agency as me, though. Obviously, you know he's there, and he's the other top-rated goalie, so a little bit, unconsciously, I guess, but not ever talked about it. And you know, that is really, really great. He's not even putting himself in the same class. He's saying, yeah, I gotta go ahead, you know? It's like Elliot Kipchoge in the marathon yesterday. You see him, he's right there with you, but nope, I was first, I gotta go by. I absolutely love the confidence that this guy has. Furthermore, let's go over onto what Dylan Genther said about Sebastian Kosa to kind of wrap up this entire conversation here. Now, Genther was an Arizona Coyotes pick ninth overall. He was taken with the Vancouver ninth, which the Canucks sent away in the Oliver ekman Larson trade, which was absolutely fantastic for them, I guess. This is what Genther said about his star goaltender. He really has no mercy. It's good that he's confident, but it definitely gets on some nerves when he's chirping his guys in practice. He chirps the other team, the other goalie, and he really just goes out there, shows no mercy, you know? And this is the kind of guy that I think, you know, you talk about the Nathan McKinnon situation. Everybody's talking about, oh, McKinnon's super hard on his teammates. He doesn't like them eating sugar and all that stuff. This is the kind of thing that people from the outside, they don't really get, you know? They look at it and they say, oh, McKinnon's a mean guy. Some people might say, oh, Kosa's a mean guy out there because he's chirping his own teammates. Um, I can guarantee you that the majority of the teammates on that team, the Edmonton Oil Kings and soon-to-be Detroit Red Wings, these guys don't care. These guys are not going out there thinking about Kosa as a mean dude they're most likely going out there saying okay you bit back at me all right it's my time to go out there and one up you later it kind of motivates everybody to go around and be more engaged you know ignite that fire to get the best out of your teammates night in and night out now sure i won't discredit the idea that maybe somebody out there would take these chirps or whatever to heart but come on it's hockey everybody chirps in hockey it's not really new ideas going out there when you make fun of somebody on the ice so i don't really think it's all too big of a deal in fact i think it motivates the guys a little bit more Genther does say it does kind of get under your nerves, which I do think builds up hockey players in a way. But either or, you know, Sebastian Kosa, he said so much to talk about his own personal ambitions towards the game. He wants to be a good goalie. He wants to be a star. And I love that kind of attitude, you know. He says himself here back in the MLive interview, 
Whoever the Red Wings sign today, in a couple of years down the road, I don't think it'll matter. Because I want to be a top goalie in this league. And that just kind of encapsulates it all, man. So, talk to me in the comments what you think about Kosa and the attitude he projects. I hope you enjoyed this video of Trolls 99. And...